So what is your age again? 139 years. Okay, and what year were you born? <laughs> 1870. I see. And you got my name from Donald Conover. Yes. When I saw him, he said that you were the best therapist, that you had a keen understanding of how culture and society play into the uh, formations of the personality. Did he really say that? Yes. So, and uh, what did you say your name was? I'm sorry, and, and why did you want to see a therapist in the first place? I wish to understand the American mind and feelings more than I do. It is urgent and imperative to have more clear understanding of meanings of Americans' uh, strange ways and thinking for my work. Okay. Okay, the American mind and feelings. Hmm. All right, well, uh, again, how do you spell your name? Thank you, but could I have it in English, please? F U M A N C H U Fu Man Chu. So, do you believe you were named after the legendary evil criminal genius in the Sherlock Holmes stories? <laughs> Okay, I hope, I hope it didn't bother you that I asked mm. you that question. No, I, 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 uh, I guess I'm not the first person who's asked you that. Uh, no, it was not Arthur Conan Doyle. There was another writer before him who gave my legend great meaning. But how are your questions helping me to understand the American mind and feelings? Is that question really so important for you? Or maybe I should ask you, did the writer do a good job with your legend? Obtaining that understanding is why I am here. You call Fu Manchu an evil criminal genius. Perhaps you Americans do not appreciate the fact that the real Fu Manchu always acted in great honor Many of your writers who usurp my legend bastardize this part of the okay, story. Okay, okay. So, do you want to talk a little bit more about how these inadequate writings and portrayals about Fu Manchu, how do they make you feel? My feelings unimportant. I calmed myself and took the needed action. Happily, there were other gifted, more committed to the truth of my legend. And now, when my name is uttered, there is a profound respect. How important is uh, respect to you? I guess it's very important. It sounds like you're saying that respect is very important to you, too. Respect is required, and perhaps even fear, if necessary. Okay, now, I really work best with the client lying on the couch, facing away from me. Okay, so you want to inspire fear? It is not necessary for you to be afraid of me in this juncture. Okay. How does being Fu Manchu and inspiring fear benefit you? I do not enjoy it. I only employ is to strategically to accomplish certain specific things. Do you Americans never want to inspire respect or fear? Respect is always important, but fear feels drastic, I mean, even a little desperate to me. <laughs> I did not come here to okay, be insulted. Okay, okay. I'm just talking here about my own opinions. Uh. Really. So, I don't really want people to fear me. Really. 
You know, but I think about it, I, I really do want people to respect. Ah, these Americans do not understand respect, honor, culture. The daughter is evil and terrible. Mother is the only house temple of respect and honor. Is how these are. Nina, how the only that Okay, is. okay, okay. I, so I, I did hear something in there about your mother and that burst of talk and your daughter was in there. So did your mother frighten you? My mother was an honorable mother. Okay. So, how was she honorable? She had no debts, no crimes. She honored her ancestors. But did she honor you? I honor her. Do parents honor their children in this country? I, I hope so. Huh? Yes, uh, parents should honor their children's hopes, their children's dreams. Oh. Just wondering, wouldn't you be a little bit more comfortable without that hat on? Or do they plot against them to try to take over their operations? Do you kill children who plot against their parents in this country? We do not kill children. Yeah. Children who plot against their parents in this country, maybe they're, they're adolescents, they're abused, maybe they have good reasons to be rebellious, right? Maybe something has happened Children to them. Children should be killed when it is necessary to do so. Why would a child, a daughter, a beautiful daughter, raised in rich traditions, plot against her father? Well, it sounds a little bit like she's a teenager, right? Uh, is your daughter plotting against you? She will never succeed. Okay, but how does her plotting make you feel? I am calming myself and will take the necessary action. Okay, but how does her plotting make you feel? Can we talk about your feelings? Oh, it is wrong for her to disobey or dishonor me. But how do you feel? Betrayed? Remember, she's just growing up, trying to find her own way in the world. Ugh. You should probably consider she doesn't hate you. She just wants to do things her own way. It is possible she doesn't hate me? It's possible she doesn't hate you. Now, I assume you're a successful man. Maybe she's just trying to be successful like you are. Uh, well, she could be trying to emulate me? Yes, that could be true. Oh. She's just a rebellious teenager acting out. And you, you're the adult. You should be able to. Uh, I, I, I never thought that, that she might be trying to emulate me, to live up to my expectations of her. Still, I should not allow her plot to succeed. She could never operate the Assassin's Network as well as I. Okay, the Assassin's Network, mm. right, yes. Well, she is a teenager, she's an adolescent, so, so uh, I imagine that it's gonna take years for her to be able to develop the skills yeah. and abilities to operate something as complex and professional as an Assassin's Network. Yeah. And, and really, there's so much food for thought here, lots for us to talk about, but, oh look, it's about time for us to wrap up today. And huh? Remember, I did tell you that I was going to squeeze you in between a couple of clients. And yes, I know it's difficult for you to, to stop when you've gotten quite worked up here. But we Wait. can take this up again next time. Oh my god, I want to kill my mother because she took the $2,000 base I bought her and sold it on eBay. On eBay. She wants the money to go play the ponies at Belmont. She hasn't kept any present I ever gave her. She sells them or trashes them. I just want to kill her. I want to kill my mother. Remarkable. Mother of God! <laughs> you will be seated now. And we will continue this conversation of why you assist these twisted American minds in dishonoring their parents. <laughs> I am Fu Manchu. And now I understand the weak American minds. <laughs>